fingers crossed. There we go. And audio is up and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what that was. Uh, okay, we're back to normal KBIPs. Something weird. I got attacked. It was a deep state. Deep state uh, the elites. It's the elites. Or as uh, Glenn Greenwald calls them, the elites. Um, that's what it was. Yep. Clearly, clearly I had to dodge some sort of a, some sort of a thingy. I know what it is. You know what it is. Welcome. Hi. Oh, YouTube is still down. What in the world is going on? It'll take it a second. Let's see. There's streaming, 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 streaming and streaming. Okay. We're all up. We're up again. YouTube might be another page. Sometimes it will do that. So, uh, apologies. Okay. We're all up. There we go. That's me. Yep. That's me. Okay, so you might have to go to another channel. All right, like it. Now, uh, but I don't like it. All right, here we go. And yeah, we're good. All right. So just, you know what? Let's just hang out for a second. It's always a lot. We have to deal with that. It's, it's emotional. It's a very emotional thing. And we all have to deal with it sometimes. <laughs> when the internet is not being internet -y, and at the wrong and right times, also at a bad and good time and terrible. And it's just very scary. I don't know how to feel about it. I just sometimes, I'm all right. I'll be okay. <laughs> sometimes I feel like, uh, well, like I'm being censored. Like I'm being blacked out. Is it ever, is, by the way, it's not pixelating, is it? Is, it all, is the camera still look good? Camera still looks good? Okay, excellent. Thanks. Camera still looks good, according to everybody. Cool. I just don't want anybody to miss out on my hilarious uh, facial expressions. And, um, I mean, I think it's, I think, say what you will about my uh, dulcet tones in my voice and my obvious flair for vocal comedy, but it's really, it's really what I do with my eyebrows that really sells it. So I hope everybody can see me clearly and it's all good. All right. Um, there we go. So we're good again. And the, I've got, I got green bars and we're up and whew. Okay. But you know what? I, I we should count our blessings. We were even, um, able to do this at all. I don't know if you know this, but according to the blaze, it's quite possible. This could be the end of everything. And, and by the way, what, what I think they mean by like, end times apocalypse kinds of is that they're at the end of any kind of well-crafted thumbnail situation like this is so fucking craigslist <laughs> what did they skip right past fiverr and go straight to to twofer jesus it's terrible I'll do black lighting with a yellow outline, and it'll be it'll glow, and it'll be like the eclipse. I totally thought it through. So, um, <laughs> turn around. All right. Um, this is uh the eclipse is not an end time sign. Oh well, fuck you then. It's a time to reflect on faith, or uh, or as we like to say, the pinwheel of faith, which is a, I hope they spin it at this point. I. I'd like us all to be able to get at least one big spin on the wheel to let us know what we, what we should have faith in on the Rick and Bubba show. Now, I don't know which one is which. I'm sorry. I don't pre-watch these, and I'm not about to. And it's 60 minutes long, so we probably won't watch the whole thing. But this is, uh, this is I just, there, there seems to be a big concern uh, amongst Blaze, <laughs> Blaze viewers that in the Eclipse, which we have every so often... M is the sign that the world's going to end. Now, it hasn't before, uh, except maybe in Spies Like Us. <laughs> it's one of my favorite lines in the whole movie. All right, stop right there, and I'll bring back the sun. Right. <laughs> You're the diplomat. Talk to them. This is my sister. You can all have her. Here, she's very good. Um, <laughs> so this is, uh, I hope, it, 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 the. you know, here's the thing. These guys... I don't know what their, you know, over-under is on their predictions, though. If they say it's not an end-time sign, I mean, it is the blaze. That means it probably is. Shit. We're all gonna die. But in, like, a very cool, futuristic way. And off we go. Bubba, I hate to drop this on you, uh, but I, you got... Okay, so he's Rick, then. The other guy is Bubba. 
And I, you can smell this studio. You can just smell it. Also, why are Rick and Bubba in their picture um, looking like they are both charging at you for an inappropriate hug? We'll probably know by the end of the clip. Got the same email I did, and they're starting to come in. Yes, they are. Just the flood of... <laughs> April the 8th, we have another eclipse. Uh, we've had two in seven years. Seven oh, God. Clearly, the sun is getting closer or some shit. I don't know how it works. Also, Rick uh, is that one. That must be Bubba. Who the fuck these other guys is? Uh, the guys are, uh, we have no idea. Seven is a big biblical number. And here <laughs> come the end of timers. Why? Because there were seven apostles or seven commandments or, you know, we, we say seven's a big number because, uh, because three of the 10 commandments can go fuck themselves. You know what I mean? Thou shalt not kill. Suck it. Uh, don't get me started and I'll covet your ass in a heartbeat, bro. And, uh. Um, I don't even know what that, um, I don't even remember the rest of them. I got to be honest. Uh, okay. Two eclipses in seven years. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Um, now th which happens. This is, this is what I heard. Now I, I'm going to give you, uh, I was just looking so in the you, break. Are, at, you know at, what you're about to do at two reports. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I know some of you, Hey, Hey, before you guys rush down into your uh, apocalyptic pro Jesus fallout shelters. Just tap the brakes a second. Give them a chance. Let let them get past this because you know you might be getting upset about nothing. Um, of course, with the eclipse coming, the of second course. time in seven years. As Rick just said, thank you, Bubba. A lot of interest is in that. Mm -hmm. Interest, sure. It's a talking point. Not as not as interesting as why we have two cans of spam sitting on the counter because it's hilarious. You know that's why we do it because it's it because it, it, it's hilarious. You know we just remember that time that guy brought in that spam and we just put that spammer. Y'all remember because it's hilarious. You guys remember that right? Because it's hilarious. Spam. Know what I mean? It's like, look, two two cans of spam, and that's all you need. Uh, that will be next Monday, by the way. Mm. Which obviously the Lord hates Mondays almost as much as we do. Ain't that right, uh, Skeeter? Aren't they supposed to have a Skeeter on shows like this? Um, they uh, there are reports out there that the the eclipse in 2017, which we went to see, by the way, in mm -hmm. Nashville. Adler. You went to see it? Yeah, because I understand that Nashville's closer. Was with me. Yep. Remember that? Yeah. And Adler's going to Total Darkness on this one, too, aren't you? I am, yes. You're taking Ruby? First father-daughter solo uh, plane travel. So, yeah, I'm taking Ruby to Austin, taking a three-year-old on a plane by myself. Nice. Uh, according so, to, to – and I, I want to get back to that. You better hope. I, I gotta say, that sounds like an Amber Alert. The rapture comes. Yeah. Uh, according to Fox News. Fox okay, well then, first of all, why is the Blaze citing Fox or whatever? This is, by the way, this is a. Just so you know, I've never seen these this show before, but apparently Rick and Bubba are radio guys, and they're on the Blaze at some time of the day. This is posted an hour ago. Now the Blaze has one point, yeah, one point nine million subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, 1.9 million people subscribe to The Blaze. Would it hurt you to hit the like and subscribe to my channel? I mean, come on. Well, I'm ice skating uphill here. But uh, 1. 1.9 million subscribers. This clip, 676 views. Now, I know what you're thinking. How? A good portion of those 1.9 might be indeed bullshit. Uh, perhaps. But still, you should, you're not, right? You're not bullshit. Subscribe. <laughs> they got 1.9 subscribers. That's right. Fox 2. Um, they say that there are several online reports. Online. That say the path of the 2017 eclipse crossed in the, we're talking about the totality. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. The totality 
But the total is a this is a totalitarian eclipse. It really, you know, shows out. It does. It does really show out. What went across seven cities named Salem? Mm-hmm. So, Maybe we need to be more original in the naming of our city. What? Supposedly echoing God's proclamation of peace seven times. Coming up next Monday. Huh. So, uh, so I guess Trump had to be out of office for a couple of years before it to happen. Before it could happen. This eclipse will go across North America. This mm-hmm. time it will cross seven cities named Nineveh. Uh oh. Allegedly, these two paths will converge over a city named Rapture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. How many times has this happened? Three or four? Is, th- you think these religious nutcases back in the spiritualist era started naming cities around this? Yeah. Now, people uh, have gone and run uh-oh. more. By the way, it's pronounced nine, but. It's like Versailles, Kentucky. It is not pronounced Versailles, Kentucky. What the fuck? Do you see oh, an I and a Y on the end? No, it's Versailles, Kentucky. And that's nine V. Oh, oh, oh Bubba. Right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know how your email Rapture. has been. Mm-hmm. I attempted to listen to some video one guy sent me, and, I, and it was very <laughs> You attempted to listen? Kind guy. And I, I have, I, I was, and I, but it, it was, the guy was rolling off this stuff, but just so much of it. I, yeah, that's the thing. I don't mind your end times prophecy psychopathy, but if you could just tighten it up a little, that's the problem I have with the uh, with the uh, revelations. You know what I mean? We get it. Why couldn't? That's what I want to know. Uh, seven seal, six seal, open the shit. Blah, blah 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 blah. Do I have any control over it? Are they giving me the keys? No fucking way. So how about just a post-it note? The world's gonna end on this date. I mean, why can't they do the Bible? Like they do, uh, like we want them to do bills in Congress. You know what I mean? Wrap it the fuck up. Why do you need all these pages? Try to listen to it, Greg, coming to meet you on Saturday to go to Ron Greenwood's uh, mother's yeah. visitation. And it was just so much. It's good. It is a lot. It is a lot. And since it's not actually going to happen, it makes it even more, I think. Uh-huh. I, I, too too much much for the he just hit me with so much yeah. information. So, I, 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 just but those, those, those are the basics that I've. Yeah, that's, that's all I need. You guys need any more? I'm good. Sure. I, yeah. What you okay. hit is the basic. Now, right. this story says... And it forms an X over America, like you said. An X. Because they said this. Where they- Which marks the spot. And, of course, um, at that point, Nick Cage will be looking for the missing corner piece torn off the Constitution that, if you put it back together, shows the map to the to the Adl- the engines that make Atlantis run so we can all escape in the giant cathedral rocket ship. Across 2017, it came from the Elon southwest to the northeast. This, this is going northwest, right. southeast. Yeah. I told y'all Elon um, Musk was in the final point. Yeah. You did. So good. you can see where this stirred everybody up. This story says that that there were only two towns named Nineveh which experienced a total eclipse. The other six were partial, and according to this story. Well, the Lord, you know, giveth and he taketh away. Um, Also, at what point does this become a Japanese game show and somebody comes out and hits you in the dick with a a giant fly swatter uh, while people uh, spin a wheel that allows you to be hit with cream pies? I'm just waiting for this because this is a little... Or do you do this show out of the corner of a Chuck E. Cheese or a... a (laughs) I'm just saying, all their decorations look like they won them in a contest. Which that makes eight. That doesn't add up. <laughs> that one don't count. The one, all right, the one uh, Nineveh place, it's to, it's off a beaten path. There's lots of Salem's and that, it just ain't one of these. Mm-hmm. Um. Now, they say that these two, the, the X where they say this will cross is a place called Carbondale, Illinois. Yeah, I don't remember that showing up in, in Revelations. I have to look that up. Hold on one second. Uh, I, I'll look, because I have a, where's my Bible? Dot, um, let's see. I have to bring this up. Yeah. It's always hard, you know what I mean? When you're trying to find a, 
the Bible verse, this proverb. Um, here it is. Um, and, and the Lord, Lord did say to them, though there was a reckoning, and they did not have ears to hear because the Lord's mouth was full of pretzel at the state fair. But lo, he said, avoid ye Carbondale. Trust me, not only is the traffic bad, but the end is nigh therein uh, on a day you will least expect. So yeah, uh, amen. So that was, um, I don't know if you guys know, that was one of the rejected um, psalms. So, you know, happened to anybody. Um, <laughs> it was in Spring, it was the State Fair in Springfield West. It says that right in the scripture. I, that's in an earlier verse, though. I mean, you have to assume it as read from that point on. <laughs> okay, here we go. There, there. Okay, they're saying that's where the X is from these. Yeah, Carbon <laughs> Carbondale, which rhymes with Nineveh, but isn't. Too. But now I go to another story, and it's called... You're, you're cross-checking these? You, you didn't just take, take it at face... You didn't take it at face value? Called Eclipse2024.org. Dot .org. Well, they can't... I mean, sure, they could do a dot .com and make money off the whole fucking thing, but where are they going to spend it? The world's coming to an end. And they've got all the apps, so you... Can't fill my pockets with change, then I can't be raptured. Remember, remember that time I was almost raptured and I had all that, all them gold doubloons in my pants like that and it just tore my pants straight off. It wasn't so much raptured. I was doing one of them spring jumpy things in Vegas, but. You can track it, the glasses to look at it. And they they list uh, mm -hmm. the place, <clears throat> Rick, as Rapture, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Rapture slash Carbondale. Rapture is sort of its, uh, its, its online name. It's like it's at on Twitter. I think that happened to their basketball team the other night. And mm -hmm. they... That's cold-blooded, man. You can't do... Man, you were talking about the end of the world. That game was shit in a biscuit. Let me tell you what. They actually have a simulation on here that will show you what it's going to look like in Rapture. Uh, well, I'm, oh, we got to look at it. Hold, hold. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Was it Eclipse 2024? Eclipse2024.org tells us the information. Total eclipse is the great North American eclipse. Is eclipse, eclipse glasses, 2024 eclipse. Hold on. I, this is 20, uh, the eclipse simulator is in here. It's, it's fabulous. You guys ready? Put your glasses on. I don't know if you're ready to see this. That's the that's they even show you what it'll look like in the in the in in, in the place where wherever you're gonna be. That's what an <laughs> that's what an eclipse looks like. Just in case the Lord, in, in case you were afraid to stare at it because the Lord would come back and see what you've been doing in your spare time, you naughty naughty child. Um, also, if I may, um, let's see. Uh, let's should we just look up eclipse rapture. Nineveh. That'll work, all right? Um, Snopes. Uh, let's see. It, yeah. Um, uh, they're going to fuck up the whole thing. Videos. The Great Eclipse of Rapture. Nineveh. Oh, there's a video. Oh, it's so good. So good. This is on BitChute. Where is it? Oh, it's on YouTube. Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. We don't even need to watch this secondhand nonsense. Ladies and gentlemen... I give you Rapture Watch 2000, and I know what some of you are saying, that this is, um, but uh, I would like to tell you that there's much about this that could absolutely be real. You, you know, you doubt this at your peril, ladies and gentlemen. Do not in any way think that just because the Bible says no man shall know the hour nor the day, not even the Son in heaven, only the Father shall know, just because of that does not mean that these assholes haven't figured it out with a slide rule and a, a, a quick Google. <laughs> just saying. Okay, here we go. The Great American Nineveh Eclipse. All glory to the Father, the Son, Yeshua, 
Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. If you, uh, if, if you, if you're, oh fuck me. If you're led, you, 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 you're. <laughs> Don't. All right. We all typo. It's okay. But if you're, if you're led to, if you're led to donate to me, help to help give me tents and backpacks of food, water, and supplies to the homeless. Here's the link. Well, that's nice of him to do that. If you're led to do that. Also, aren't we all going to be homeless when the, the rapture happens and buck naked? But here we go. Keep your heads lifted up, family. Our redemption draweth near. And here, that's what I was saying. Now, don't let the whole thing about the Bible saying you won't know when it's going to happen. This guy fucking knows. Here's the verse of the day. Mm -hmm. The bread of life. Oh, you know what? Um, that's how I make, uh, make uh, eggs in a hole for my kid. Also, who the fuck cuts the middle out of the bread when they're handing it to an obviously poor child? What kind of an asshole? That's not very loving. What the fuck's the matter with you? But I do, and I recommend it. If you ever have, uh, if you're making eggs in a hole for somebody, you can take a cookie cutter. If you have a heart-shaped one that's of reasonable size, about like that level, just cut that part of it out. Take out that piece of the bread, make eggs in a hole, and then you, while you're making your eggs in the thing, you can toast that little piece of that heart-shaped bread on the side, and then I put a little jam on it, and it's nice. That's great. So I do that for my, that was the breakfast of choice I would make for my, for my son. Yeah. You could do it with a knife too, but you know, children being around. Yeah. Eggs in a basket, that's what we call it. We call it eggs in a hole. It's the same thing, but it's kind of, a you know. There you go. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love to one another, enough to eat the middle out of the bread and only give the child the crust. You know how kids love crust. <laughs> what? What the? What? What an asshole. What? <laughs> Why are you giving me just the crust? I'm a kid. I hate fucking crust. Gee whiz. And it's John 13, 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, mm -hmm. if ye have love one to another. No diddy. <laughs> they cut off the no diddy part. And I love you, family, in Jesus Christ forever. Yeah, it, calm down. In all glory and credit and recognition and praise. And and and, and not just credit, uh, but he also gets 2% uh, of of the returns from the box office honor to our father in the name above every name jesus christ our brother daniel sent this picture to me that he made earlier he made a picture good for daniel and he told me it, it's so nice that he had time to do some moderate i guess illustrator maybe not quite i'm guessing he just kind of grabbed it while he was in the lion's den that he watched this video did he? On Rapture Watchers 777. <laughs> well, shit. Why am I watching you if I can watch Rapture Watchers 777? So he didn't make this thing. He just took a screen grab. You thieving fucks. What's wrong with you? This is That's the problem I have with Rapture Christians. They're always stealing from each other. Rap. What the fuck is the name of this thing? And he watched this video uh -huh. on Rapture Watchers 777. Well, well, hold on. Let's go for a ride. Is that all run together? I guess it's got to be Rapture Watchers 777. Time for the Rapture three months ago, too. Rapture during the eclipse. Truth, love, light. Uh, nope, there's that guy. America dies before the Rapture. This is uh, a year ago, apparently. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, nope. Horrible daylight footage. Emergency alert. The seven trumpets apparently happened two years ago. When the fuck? I, why didn't we get a warning? The exodus, the eclipses, and the rapture. This is six months ago from the return of the king. Uh, brace for impact as Russia and Belarus. Make Angel Michael appears during the rapture a month ago. Oh, this stuff is good. Hold on. We're going to open this up in a second. But I, I guess rap, I'm looking. Hold on. I'll show you right here. This is, uh, this is a bunch of this. This is good stuff. Emergency alert. Emergency. Iran put missiles on alert. Emergency. Emergency. This was uh, two hours ago, so it's clearly an emergency. Um, New York prepper. World War III. Breaking news. Get 25% off three-month emergency food supply. From They're, I'm, they're not even going to be shipped here before we'll all be dead. Um, 
This is the it's time to go. This is three months ago. This is the Psalm saying it. Rapture during the eclipse? <laughs> this is two weeks ago. Not so random acts of kindness with Gary Coates. Introduction clip. There's six chapters, this motherfucker? Ten minutes? You got Many six. online YouTubers are speculating once again as to when the rapture of the church may occur. Really? Just them? Huh. Some say the nearing April 8th solar eclipse over the United States might hold the key to knowing when the end will soon wrap up. The end will wrap up. Isn't the the end the wrapping up in in indeed itself? Also, you're not supposed to know. So even trying to know is a violation of the the Lord's plan, isn't it? I um, as Scripture says in Matthew twenty four. But of that day and hour, uh huh. Yeah, that's the part that sticks out. Knoweth no man, no, not even the angels in heaven, but my Father only. Yes, not even the sun shall know. Jesus will have no idea when it's his turn to come. If he sit up there in heaven, playing Xbox or doing whatever the fuck he's doing, he's like, Jesus, it's time. Really? Now can I finish my mac and cheese? All right, I'll go. Somebody hold my controller. Is it? You know what? Never mind. Let's keep playing. I'm extra temporal anyways. I'm both there and not there in and of the earth and not of the earth at the same time. So poof, did it. Uh, that's cool. It goes on to say, therefore. The rapture for Jesus is kind of like uh, Muhammad Ali punches. You know what I mean? Or be also ready, for in such an hour, as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. So it may... Right. So every time you think you know what it is, that's definitely not it. So if you want to put it off, you're like, just prophesy it. It's guaranteed. It's like hitting the snooze button on it. Like, if you got a big date this weekend, and you're like, fuck, I hope the rapture doesn't happen. This is going to be a sweet date. All you got to do is, uh, you know... Like, just say, I think Jesus is coming back Saturday. And he'll go, well, fuck, I can't come back now. Because according to, you know, shit. They come in that weird time where, A, he might not come today, but ooh, he's going to come on this hot spot. He's going to come on this particular day. We may not know the exact. <laughs> but only the crazy child knows. Only the child with the seeing eyes. Can watch as Jesus comes from the skies. That day or the hour. But as one YouTuber pointed out Monday during a live stream, we might not know the exact day or hour, but what if we could know the year? <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I just feel like you're, you're trying to like... I just wouldn't fuck around. If you, if you really believe this stuff, would you really want to elbow God with this bullshit? Is God just going to go like, like, I know what you mean. You you know what I'm talking about. Get the fuck out of it, Flick. So if it's coming on this day, he's got to have the Antichrist. This dude definitely knows. Nobody can tell me that this guy with, I think, God knows what uh, open and unopened bottles on his dresser. And I think that's his router. <laughs> this is a dude in the know. If anybody's got this, the straight line to Jesus, it's at Departure Heaven. <laughs> departure Heaven. Okay, so this, is, this is the guy that Chink Uger will be screaming at because his plane to heaven is late. Here, ready to go to stop the nuclear war by this time. And then that means back here somewhere the rapture has to take place. Which Yeah, or, or it, if that, if it, because if it doesn't, that means I'm an asshole, and that couldn't possibly be true. Puts us any time this year, or whatever year he's planning on coming. Well, thanks for being so specific. Thank you. Sure. I don't know why anybody just loses faith in any of these guys. You know what I mean? Like, did this guy learn nothing from watching Flashpoint this year, or whatever year he's coming? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> sure but you can see the indicator it should serve as a red flag that if we're seeing this kind of talk on tv from russia yeah that's what it is if we're seeing this kind of because we've never seen this kind of talk from russia before and we're seeing everything going on yeah that's true if you are seeing everything going on you know how, you know how, like everything is going on right now like, if you look outside, everything's just, like, going on. Like, if you go to the store, you're like, what the hell? Everything is, like, going on. <laughs> Sorry, these people fucking annoy the shit out of me. 
it should serve as a reminder how close we are. I can't or how far away we are. I mean, I don't want to. I can't set days. I can't set the hour. We didn't say we wouldn't know the year. We just all he did. You notice that? Did you? Because <laughs> it that's kind of assumed. See that? Watch that. The Bible says clearly we don't know man knoweth the day or hour. But he noticed the year. Also, by the way, in the in the old translations, it was yom, which means period of time. Okay, that's a, that's the same issue the Bible translations have with the first the, the earth being created in seven days. It was seven yoms. It was like it could be a day, it could be an hour, it could be a billion fucking years that the Lord created the universe in seven billion years. That was a single yom. Dumbass. He didn't put that. He didn't say that in the in between the these and the yays. And in there. So did you catch that, folks? The yeah, I did. I caught it. I caught it. Did you guys catch it? I caught it. Year. We like he totally like I found a way. I found a I found a God loophole. Everybody, God missed this one. But ah ha ha! It, no, yeah, I got this figured out. What if we do? What if we are something pointed to know the year? You know the Bible. And what if you're not? What if you're talking out of your ass and? What if you're supposed to spend your days being a good person and shut the fuck up about it and not worry about it so you don't have... Because again, what the fuck does it even mean to get ready? It might be this year, so I gotta be... I gotta make sure I ask for forgiveness like on the fucking hour. Like, it doesn't work that way. Stop being a dick. I didn't say anything about knowing the year. For that matter, what if we knew the year? Maybe the season. Yeah, right. It's definitely not spring. Or winter. Probably not summer. It, I think it's... It, the rapture's got to happen in the fall. I mean, the fall is really good rapture weather. Unless you're in the Midwest. So when you you want to be raptured during a tornado. You're like, I'm coming up to see my... Whoa! <laughs> that would suck, right? Or the month. Be a huge... The week. Maybe that. There's 52 of them. Didn't say anything about the week. What if it's... It, ironically, Easter week would be a... You know, it just... We missed it. So, obviously, maybe it comes back around. Perhaps, maybe it's... What happens if you get raptured during summer school? <laughs> Help. Saints, the April 8th total solar eclipse will be ab Supernatural by design. And these, pe these people have more subscribers than I do. No, he doesn't. Actually, this guy doesn't have anybody. Absolutely phenomenal. Why? Because, because it's a phenomenon? I'm just, just spitballing. Those over eight cities named Nineveh? No. Because of the comet that will be visible at the moment of totality. Saints, that's more rare than anything I can think of. Except for maybe the Chiefs going back to back. I'm a Broncos fan. Because <laughs> uh, sports are very important at the end of the world. But nonetheless. Nonetheless, I like a little sports joke now and again because this is going to turn out to be shit. Anyways, uh, so not quite sure how. That's an excellent point somebody was just making. It's fantastic. Listen here. I don't want to hear any bullshit from you assholes. Listen to this guy. Because even when he's wrong, he's right. Get used to it. This eclipse. Yeah. So, let's see. 8th April, which is a fool's month, maybe. The, you know, the 4th month. Yeah. 4th, two eights is a 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 and 4 is 8. There's another 8. And we know what a divine number 7 is, right? So, but eight, there's a lot of eights possible in this general kind of a eight-ish general, like the Chinese love two eights, you know, double happiness, they call it, you know, because two eights next to each other look like, look like the character for Hal, not Hal, not that asshole you've been watching, but this kind of stuff. Look at all the fours and eights in there. You know what I'm saying? And don't tell me this shit that that means fornicate. That's not what... This is not a fornication holiday. I don't want anybody fucking during the eclipse, you assholes. Yeah, seriously. If I see any of you doing it... When you're done, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a word with you after I'm done watching. But for Nick's 8, fornicate. It's a fornic... Consider that before you... You know, 
The storm is coming. That's all I know. I learned my math from a QAnon shaman. Ominous. Not the other guy who went to the thing. A real one. Wears a robe and a Jimmy Buffett shirt. Different guy. Well, it's really a warning sign. I'm sorry, it's not a warning sign. It's an announcement of judgment. You're, you're right. As soon as I saw this, I immediately started judging you. I was like, what an asshole. You know? So, yeah. Be warned. Oh, absolutely. In fact, you I'm glad you like it. Remember this video? America's Judgment? The final No, I don't. But I'm sorry I missed it. Final hour? We talked about how Russia and China is going to gang up on America? Y yeah. You've, you've got about five days before you... This one really slips through your fingers. Well, isn't it interesting? I don't... Isn't what the snake, that little guy right there, was apparently headed down to the crossroads to make a deal with a blues guitarist somewhere in southern Illinois. Isn't it interesting? I don't... Isn't what interesting? That just days after that video was released. That Putin now warns West of risk of nuclear war. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, but he said that kind of shit for a while now. Am I surprised? Probably not. Will you be surprised on the 9th? Absolutely not. No, are you surprised? I am I sometimes, I like surprises. Sometimes I show up and people are singing happy birthday and I'm like, it's not my birthday and then I'm totally surprised. Like, fuck yeah, it actually is my birthday. How weird is that? Maybe, if you're new to the channel. But if you've been watching this channel for some time. Uh-huh. Ho ho. Ho ho, ha ha. ho. Ha. Yeah. A nuclear war. What kind of war? How, 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 oh, look at that. I'm sorry. This is my uh, rapture disguise when I have to fit in with the Cthulhu's. Sorry about that. It happens. Jump over here, you bastard. Now, what was that? Uh, what you know, kind? For some time. Uh-huh. Ho ho. A ho. nuclear war. A nuclear, nuclear, a uh, nu, a uh, nu, a uh, nuclear, nuclear war. Is that, is that where two countries fight with nougat? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Or rapture. Which is, I believe, a Blondie song. Am I right about that? I think so. Now I've got glass in, you know, a heart of glass stuck in my head or whatever. Right? Has been the very topic, main topic, of this channel for quite some time. Yeah, you'd think after predicting the end times for a long time, it kind of stop, you know. But good on you for not getting embarrassed, you know. It takes a lot of guts to be this shamelessly dumb, you know. More power to you, you weird fucker. And so in today's video, we have more details to go over about this. I should hope so. All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh -huh. Why it's pointing to war, why it's also pointing to the rapture, but not on the day of the eclipse. Remember these? Right, yeah. So don't expect, don't get up his ass about it's going to happen on the eclipse. Stop. Look, it's pointing to it. Now, I know what you're thinking. What doesn't? But fuck you. Leave the guy alone, okay? Look, just because he wants, you, you get mad when somebody talks out of their ass? All right. These are warning signs. They're warning signs. Guys like, hey. Think also, by the way, that's not an eclipse. That's just a circle on fire. I would just like to point out that's not what an eclipse actually looks like. That's just that's just a circle of... It's like something on fire with a big black circle blocking out. It's about to get shaken up. Here's a sign. Matthew 24, 7 through 8 says, mm -hmm. For nation shall rise against nation. Yeah, that's never happened before. Kingdom against kingdom. That's a, That's fresh as well. I don't know. You guys ever has in human history have kingdoms ever r risen against kingdoms? And in various places, there'll be famines and earthquakes. Right, which obviously, you know, we have never seen anything like this. Right. But all of these things are merely the beginning of birth pains. Okay, not pains, pangs, pangs, not pains, pangs. Uh, but this lady would like to speak to you from. The room that her friend lets her live in, so she'll stop being weird. Listen to the rhetoric. Okay. Why? Between October 7th and now. 
How about, uh, okay. Because there was a lot of rhetoric before that, too. Should we not, we should just, uh, you know what, fuck it. Throw out that rhetoric, you're right. You don't hear any warships. You don't hear any U.S. ships on the Mediterranean anymore. I, I, well, why would I hear them? I'm not there, but also, they're there. You don't hear about it anymore. Well, that's because there's other news stories. I mean, they're just patrolling the area. The last ship that was hit was a Chinese ship. It's not, we haven't been hit. Our strikes worked. What, what are we, I'm sorry, is there a party going on? That's because they've withdrawn them. Oh, yeah, because they have to get ready for the rapture. Of course, there's going to be a big uh, boat parade. He has literally pulled out. <laughs> Sorry. It was, it was, I shouldn't laugh. Moon River. No, pulling out is no laughing matter. Drop your shorts and bend over, Mr. Babar. Um, so. <laughs> Simmer. And the news is not going to come out and tell you this. Uh, because he, largely because he hasn't, I think. He has literally pulled away from Israel. Who, uh, I guess we're talking about Biden, not the Lord, right? There is always a catastrophe in every presidency. Well, I, yeah, I would think that would be correlative, not causative. And I believe his is going to be the rapture. Well, congratulations. I think it's good that we have a... Uh, a devout Catholic in there instead of this pussy-grabbing, rape-fiend, uh, idiot, fake businessman who can't even have a, a charity in the state he lived in for years. Maybe, maybe it's just a bad look if Jesus showed up and that guy was running the place. So I like the the old guy with a, a nice family, you know, and the kid who was in addiction and he showed his love to him through that whole thing and they saw him through it and now he's doing better. I think it's a much better look for humanity if Jesus comes back to judge us and that guy's in charge as opposed to the fucking orange shit gibbon. Don't you? I'm speculating, but yeah, we we figured. Yeah, I don't I don't think anybody in my chat room, anyways, thought you had the inside scoop. It could be true. And, uh, sure, probably not. <laughs> just, just I, I mean, if I was gonna put some money down on, I, uh, mm, since the the facts you pointed out were wrong, were wrong, weren't actually facts, uh, and uh, your speculation is based on some sort of weird political leaning as, that has nothing to do with your religious beliefs. I, I'm just saying, as seers go, um, there's nothing in the Bible about someone with a busted closet door shall know the day. <laughs> just. Just saying, put the bottom part of that back on the track. Just have, if you can't do it, have somebody come over and just, you got to just lift it and pull it a little forward. It'll pop right back in there. It's just, as long as you don't have a bunch of shit on the bottom of the, that's probably the problem. That's what it is, isn't it? That's what it is. You got a bunch of shit on the, on the floor of the closet and it's pushing up against that other door. And it's not even that this one's stuck in, it's this one's hanging out because it's probably a box of shit. Okay. Yeah. And you, and you're, and you're telling me you're ready for Jesus to come back. I don't think so. The bottom line is this. Will the rapture occur during... You seem to be reading and not speaking uh, extemporaneously, and I'm not surprised by that. The time of the eclipse? No. I'm just going to call it... No. Not, not a chance. Also, if indeed there is a moment... No, I, I don't, I don't, I, work with me on this. My extra from Wally looking friend... Um, if indeed the Lord does indeed come back. Oh, I looked over Jordan and what did I see? A whole bunch of horses and they're pulling Jesus to me. And they came down to hell and they landed on the earth. And he said, get in and go and do Galilee. Um, if that happens, I'm just saying, maybe, just maybe, um, it, the moment in, ex in human experience becomes extra temporal and... There are no more days. That's why they call it the end of days, because there aren't any days. At, it's beyond. Uh, oh, I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? A man with binoculars staring at me. So I closed my window, and what did you see? But I was wearing my pants for the Lord. All right, so <laughs> I need a keyboard of Democrats. I told you, I need one of those, like, 
I need that Steve Martin. Thanks. No, it was more of a Martin short, I have to say. Yeah, 144,000 tickets. That's all we got. Um, yeah, settle down. <laughs> Slap elective. Oh, I looked down the Jordan and what did I see? A team of horses pulling Jesus to me. And I ran away with my girlfriend Becky. And I was like, wait, you're not Jesus. Um, <laughs> so, um, Jesus stole my woman and he ran to the hills. Oh, Jesus stole my woman and he ran to the hills. Jesus stole my woman. And he ran to the hills. I've got to stop taking these pills. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just. I just like you do realize that I'm getting into a fucking rabbit hole with these assholes, but the like this just goes this goes so deep. These to get this it's never ending. It's just these dickheads are always clamoring about this shit. You click on one goddamn uh, one if I click on one fucking video, even ballpark on this, we'll never get back. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, I gotta stop taking these pills. I was like, that's funny. That's, <laughs> that one got me. I didn't see. That's the great thing about improv. I don't know what's gonna come out of my face until I say it. <laughs> that's why I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at my own material. That's that's a dick move. <laughs> laughing at your own chili. Like, I wrote this. It's hilarious. I'm just as surprised by what I said as you are. <laughs> Zero plan. All right. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's that's from my album, uh, my gospel album. Jesus is a real fucker sometimes. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I'm fine. We'll get... We'll get on with the show. Uh, I can't tell if that guy's inside or outside either. I can't tell if that's a real building behind him or that's his, or like he does his show from WeWork. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on with that background. Do you? Does anybody, because those bricks look really fucking small, right? And they're too close to, to be far away. Like, seriously, this looks like a Zoom cover or a, it looks like, I got to say, it is either the sweetest fucking green screen I've ever seen in my goddamn life, or he has a banner hanging that gives a fake office behind him. Right? Because I... Or whatever. Anyways. Uh, shit. Thank, thank you for uh, seeing me through that, you guys. I, was, I am from Kentucky. It is true. It's a cheap backdrop. That's your, I, I think you're right. I think you're, I, I agree. And it's totally like the floor is too... Low, like I, I created this backdrop, but whatever, and I was like trying to eyeball it so it looks like. I mean, I know, you, like you know, it's fake, but the point is, is that it's at least the the right size for it looks like I'm actually standing there a little, right? In this little room, they, see how they're like there's a little tray here, and this weird little fucked up AI made a weird phone that doesn't make any sense, right? And also, if I may, the chat is in that little window right now. You can't see it because of the events. Hold on, I'll move it out of the way and you'll see what I mean. I, I did that. Look at that. Watch this. That's the chat. That's you guys. Does anybody care? No. No. I do that. And nobody. I don't get any credit. Jesus is going to come back and go, hey, nice little, nice little effect with the credits there. I, pay, I, I appreciate it. It's not going to make up for some of the other shit, but it, well, I saw it. It brought some people some joy, and that's all I can ask. But uh, you're going to hell because of, uh, well, because of this, actually, apparently. Um, this is, I'm going to hell because of this moment. This is it. Um, I mean, obviously, because I eat shrimp as well, so I'm kind of fucked. Also, I believe this shirt is a, uh, a poly cotton blend. 
Um, I'm busting like three Leviticus rules right in, in the say. I mean, I'm not really gay, but it doesn't matter if you're really gay. I, you know, I acted like I. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe Leviticus isn't about being gay. It's about be acting gay. If a man lie with another man is for the woman, that sounds like acting to me. Because uh, if you're gay, you wouldn't really lay with him as with a woman. You'd, you know, it'd be a, it's a whole different thing. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Anyways, wait, 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 let's, let, I, I'm not going to let this ass off. In. Clip, a, clip from Watch Woman 65 regarding Personally, this. I do not know for sure. I really? I would have thought of all people, you with the 998 subscribers, rapture during the eclipse, question mark, April 8th, 2024. Oh, by the way, um, see this thing right here? Well, a red heifer cause Armageddon near April 8, 2021. What it means. Um, now, let me let me say something. Okay. You're like, red heifer? What the fuck? Okay. So, apparently they sacrifice these red heifers at, for biblical reasons. Like, the Orthodox Jews do this thing because it's an Old Testament thing. And, uh, and they, they have to find these red cows that can't have one black, one non-red hair on them. Right? This is literally a cow. Here, I'll show you. The red heifer prophecy is one that is being closely watched by Jews, Christians, and Muslims all over the world. Yeah, I, I, as a you know, as somebody who grew up in Peaks Mill Christian Church, we were always like, "What about the red heifer, though?" This is one of the and uh, and this uh, this lady in our church who was a ginger got really mad every time we brought it up. You prophet. She's like you. Kid, shit your mouth. Prophecies that impact all three of what is called the Abrahamic religions. That's, well, it's, if you're nice, that's what you call it. Meaning the religions that all believe Abraham to be a prophet and progenitor of their religion. Right, just to be clear. To put this into perspective, 25... To put this into perspective, I have uh, made a small... Um, uh, uh, what's well, I would call it a presentation. It's not quite a TED Talk. Percent of the world is Muslim. It's like a Job talk. Muslim. Thirty-one point six percent is Christian, and 02 percent is Jewish. And by the way, they are to blame for fucking everything. Don't forget it. And the other one is other. Other. Can you believe this? Meaning that this prophecy impacts more than half of the world's population. In Wouldn't it impact all of them if it's true? Right. You know what I mean? Like, if it's a prophecy that comes true and it happens, who gives a fuck what you believe is going to happen to you? In theory. Now, okay, you're, I know what you're thinking, chat room. This is ridiculous. Nobody, uh, you know, this is fringe um, bullshit. Um, nobody, uh, yeah, here you go. Hold on, let me open this up real quick, if I may. And we'll open this to here. We'll go to this. Um, nobody, you know, nobody like on the level of like Daily Wire or Blaze or any of these things could possibly believe any of this. Holy fucking shit. No pun intended. Mm-hmm. That would be a, a red heifer and a, and a, a, a white asshole. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I should have let someone else say. Asshole. Okay. Um, this is, uh, mm-hmm, yeah. Prophecy almost fulfilled? <laughs> um, <clears throat> does Hamas fear that Jews in Israel are trying to fulfill a biblical prophecy? Glenn reviews a story from earlier this year that went under the radar because... Yada, 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 yada. Yeah, let's jump in. So back in January, a story... <laughs> back in January, in my fake childhood bedroom where I lounge about around sports implements I never could fucking use. Story flew under the radar that is worth discussing. Is it though? And it wasn't discussed because the mainstream media has no idea what this even means. Neither do you. Because again, wh what do you mean? If something's worth discussing, why didn't you discuss it then, you tit? <laughs> But at the 100-day mark of the war... Yeah, a BD, VJ Kodak, I have no idea what the fuck this room is about. It's so, it's so weird. It's like, it's like he's... It's like we're looking at the kid from uh, A Christmas Story, who, like, the, the bully from A Christmas Story, grew up, got fat, and is trying to, like, reclaim his childhood because he was a dick. 
And so he made this little room, and he's like, this is my happy place. In Israel, October 7th, Mm -hmm. the military spokesman for Hamas gave a televised speech about the Hamas efforts, as well as the remain uh, the uh, a reminder of the purpose of the war, which would be to wipe out the Jews. Now, this was translated uh, into English by the Palestinian Chronicle, which, gosh, I must have missed this issue of it, uh, and it just came to my attention. But I want you to listen. Uh, are you telling me a a prophecy just came to your attention, or do you mean some weirdo? wrote you an email like everybody else. Listen carefully to what this guy said. Quote, we look back a hundred days to remember the educated, the complicit, the incapacitated among the world powers governed by the law of the jungle, reminding them of an aggression that reached its peak against our path, Al-Quds and Al-Aqsa. Al-Quds is the Muslim name uh, for Jerusalem. And Al-Aqsa is the mosque. Right. We we all know this part. We Yeah, this was the part that was largely reported. That is on top of the temple. Sure, it's on top-ish. Temple Mount. Mm-hmm. Reminding them of an aggression that reached its peak against, translating in Jerusalem, and the Temple Mount. With the start of its actual temporal and spatial division. What? Yeah, it's a holy war. Of course they're going to talk shit like this. They started to reach peak at the start of the Jews' actual temporal and spatial division and, quoting, the bringing of red cows as an application of a detestable religious myth designed for aggression against the feelings of an entire nation in the heart of its Arab identity. Uh huh. Yeah, they're they're fucking lunatics. We get it. And the path of its prophet, and the ascension into heaven. Hmm. What did you get out of that, Stu? Oh God. Okay, I don't know. I don't even know what Stu's going to answer to this. I I I'm not a hundred percent sure he was even listening. What the temporal and spatial division? What's that? That sounds kind of mystical, doesn't it? Does it does sound mystical. Yes. And the bringing of red cows as an application of a detestable religious myth. Well, we should look in to what that is. Why? What, do you think it's justification? Do you think it's actually going to do something? Do you think that they, they bring in the red cow, it gets slaughtered, and then the Muslims rise up, and then that war brings back Jesus and he kills everybody? Is that how you think this is going to shake down? Or do you think it's yet enough, like these guys who are murderous psychopaths using religion as a cover for whatever the fuck they want to try. The bringing of red cows as part of a detestable... Hey, is this the first time they brought a red cow to that area? Why, no, it isn't. Myth. Okay. Right, it's ketchup on steak. That's the sign. The red cow uh, symbol is Trump eating steak with ketchup on it. Okay. Oh, the Russians are the red cows? Wes thinks the Russians are the red Red cows. Red heifers is something that people have referred to me and Stu as when we're walking together in the mall, and I don't like it. Are the detestable religious myth, according to the leader of Hamas. A red heifer in, um, in the Old Testament, to be sacrificed, has to have uh, no more than two black or white hairs, and they check them. <laughs> I mean, there's, I, I think there's probably, you know, I, I'm guessing there's a rabbi squad that goes out and they look and they check the heifer. It has to be unblemished, all red hair. I'm guessing they give it a real solid once over, but I, I don't know how. <clears throat> and that's a one in 50,000 chance that your red heifer is. That's not a, that's, uh, that's not a small number. That's a, considering how many cows are raised and slaughtered and for modern food production, uh, there's a lot of them, apparently. It's going to be born like that. Um, and it cannot have more than two black or white hairs, uh, even before having their ears tagged, a common practice with livestock, 
that would uh, disqualify them for ceremonial use, but these four heifers remain blemish-free. And according to the Temple Institute rabbis, they want... Glenn and Stu can have sex with them anytime they want to carry out this detestable, uh, uh, what did he call it, a myth and a ceremony before Passover. So just before Easter. Right. And apparently, so they, so they attacked October 7th because of something that happened last weekend. Only. That already happened and did actually happen. Nine heifers have been sacrificed since Moses. Nine. And that... And eight of them in the last three years. That happened between Moses and the year 70 A.D. And the feeling is, or the, the myth of the Bible is the 10th red heifer ceremony would bring in the messianic age. Oh, the age. Great. So thousands of years. Miss Spock, they're not ready. This is, uh, this whole planet's like a piece of frozen fish has just been put in a oven. They won't be ready for interaction with sane, logical human beings for another 10,000 years. Beam me the fuck up because I can't take it anymore. I can't do it. This is amazingly... I've been in some shit. I went down to a Nazi planet, you'll remember, Spock. And I have to tell you, this is some of the dumbest shit I've ever heard. It's ridiculous. Blame me the fuck up. We're putting everything but the kitchen sink into the impulse bottle. Well, I can't wait any longer. Get me the... Fu- this man would be king. Never gonna happen, but he's a dipshit. I'm telling you. You know what? Fuck it. I'll walk. And scene. Now, I don't know about you, but those people who are like, I think Jesus is coming soon. <laughs> They're so crazy. Okay, so this is him. This is uh, Christian sarcasm, I think, because he he actually is, he wants you to know that he actually does think it's, it's happening. So <coughs> I don't believe any of that crazy. So lame. Craziness. You don't actually. You're full of shit. I I don't buy it. I uh, where's your faith in action? I know you you know that there's money to be made in this world, so you'll show up and do very performative charitable acts in some cases, but most of the time it's it, it it's it's got scam written all over it. Um, but um, they bring in the messianic age. Now, people who are religious Christians, they believe that that is the first step to believe, to rebuilding the third temple. And it has to be built before the Antichrist uh, comes and desecrates it. Of course, I mean, he wouldn't desecrate it, and then they'd build it. But Yeah, that's true. Good point, good point. So basically before Trump gets reelected, is that what you're thinking? Is that they're like, oh shit, if Trump gets reelected, he's definitely the fucking dude. We didn't have anything in the Bible about him being a moron and a failed businessman, but all the uh, all of his followers think he's God, so that's close enough for fucking hand grenades and horseshoes. He's, and then, then, if uh, then the Messiah comes. Some of us believe that's Jesus, and he had a return ticket uh, when he came the first time. Uh, so he's coming again. Yeah, we get we. Most of us are familiar. Now, what does this mean? Nothing. Where did this come from? Your ass. Why are why is Hamas saying a hundred days into the war, it was the transfer of these red heifers from Texas to Israel? Because they're nuts and and everybody's trying to call the Messiah's bluff that played a role in October 7th. Uh, who gives a fuck? I've been to Israel several times. No doubt. I have never been to the top of the Temple Mount. Right, because uh, you're afraid your uh, feet would burn. Because I was asked by the state of Jews, uh, Israel. The state of Jews? <laughs> is, that, is, that, is, that what they, is that what you call it? 
uh, around I've never your been to the top of the Temple Mount because I was asked by the state of Jews, uh, Israel. Yeah, Jews, the state of Jews, Israel. Sorry. Not to go. I was right, I can see why. I was asked by uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Sorry, some whose prophecies? So Kim Clement prophecies? Look it up, very interesting. Oh, okay. Do, do we really want to get into this? Oh, by the way, we don't need to see any more of this, by the way, chat room. This is, uh, I got, yeah, that was a good slip. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not happening. I'm, I'm going to call it. You know what I mean? No, no man will know the hour nor the day. No, no, and, hey, if I can help bring it about, because I got nothing to fear, just by saying I don't know when it is. That's, I mean, and you guys know what a big phrase that is for me. <laughs> um, to say I don't know is, it's, I mean, it causes actual physical pain. It's like the, you know, it's, it's like Kevin Klein apologizing in, uh, in A Fish Called Wanda. It's just, uh, it hurts. But uh, if I can do that, you know, to bring about the, the end of time so that there's no more time, we just all live in eternity without having to have that clock ticking over our head, I, I'm for it. I'll do what I can. Do I think it's going to work? No. No. Not really. All right, so um, Glenn should not be able to tarnish any religion by associating himself with it. That's, he went religion shopping when he had a kid and uh, apparently decided to become a Mormon because you automatically, as a man in Mormonism, get a planet of your own. I don't know what happens to your wife or you also get multiple wives at some point. Um, but I, they, they, it's not because he gave a shit. He just wanted to, he wasn't religious. He wanted to ra raise his kids religious. So he went shopping around and decided to become Mormon. That was the story. He tells it. It's not, I'm not making this up. Um, but you know who is making something up? Um, uh, uh, this fucking guy right here. Um, this is, um, now I know what you've been, you're probably thinking, how, you know, with all this craziness about the border and, and the border bill and the, and, and Mike Johnson getting, you know, you know, MTG wanted to vacate the seat and all that kind of stuff. Like, uh, I'd forgotten all about this dipshit. Well, that's, that's, that's your, that's your mistake. Okay. Because I'll have, you know, Joe Biden is in a lot of trouble right now. Now I know you're like, no, he isn't. And I'm like, that's true. But d don't think for a second that it might sort of not also possibly be actually true while at the same time not and at the same time being truly bullshit. Bullshit! So, right. So that there is... <clears throat> I'm I'm curious. You're curious. Uh, here we go. The chairman of the House oversight. Oh, it's and it's Maria, she, and you gotta understand, Maria's having a rough week, folks. The revised jobs numbers for March. Oh shit! Manufacturing, financial, and transportation jobs going up. That's a that's not good for her argument. Sherry and House Ways and Means Committees. Oh, the, these are the IRS whistleblowers who wanted to use shit they saw on the internet as evidence, which would get the entire case against uh, Hunter Biden thrown out, and their supervisor like, are you fucking stupid? All demanding the Department of Justice, the IRS, and the special counsel, David Weiss, say whether they are investigating Hunter Biden whistleblowers, Gary Shapley and Joseph Ziegler. Lawmakers writing to the IRS commissioner, Daniel Werfel, saying Hunter Biden's lawyers, quote, waged an aggressive intimidation campaign against the whistleblowers, and they repeatedly pressured the DOJ to investigate them for leaking information. They also... Well, they did leak information, and I mean, Trump was threatening the same thing, right, about his taxes. To say that a redacted portion of a DOJ amicus brief in Hunter's tax case suggests that the whistleblowers may be subjects of an ongoing investigation, which the redacted portion of the department's brief is in a paragraph about guidance from the IRS on whistleblowing options distributed to IRS employees, including Shapley and Ziegler, suggesting that the whistleblowers may be subjects of purported and ongoing investigations that the IRS may be involved in it. Okay, maybe. Fucking how many how many maybes is that and in the redacted portion, uh, including Chaplin is suggesting. Wait a minute, that's that's what we're going with. We're going with fucking su su suggesting that the whistleblowers may be subjects of the purported ongoing investigation, and that the IRS may be involved. Say maybe again, motherfucker. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Say maybe again. IRS is purported. 
but port my fucking sprinkles. Involved in. Joining me now is Kentucky Congressman, House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer. <laughs> and a guy who's standing in front of us, uh, sitting in front of a step and repeat in his third office. Mr. Chairman, good to see you. Thanks. Yes, good to see you. Say maybe again. Thanks very much for being here. Have you heard back from that? Do you know for sure that these whistleblowers are now being investigated? Of Maria, why are you asking? Stop it. Of course he knows for sure. <laughs> what do you think he's going to say? We, we hope or we like or possibly? No. Of course he knows for sure. Gated by the DOJ. Uh, we have sources that would lead us to believe that. <laughs> sources that would lead you to believe. Is that like the, the source from the 1023? Are these sources al arrested yet? Or are they waiting? So that would lead you to fucking... Oh, buddy. Oh. Man, would lead, would, would, have they led you to believe this? Are they leading you on? Are you feeling left on? God! All right, I'm fine. Uh, all indications point to that. Do they? This administration has clearly retaliated against Mr. Shapley and Mr. Ziegler. In what? Way. Uh, we we are very disappointed uh, in the way the Democrats have turned a blind eye to this intimidation. Uh, to be on which you can't actually prove is happening, but you have been ahem. What was the phrase? Led to believe is happening. On the House Oversight Committee, you have to rely on certain things. We have to. Yes, you do. <laughs> One of them isn't uh, definitely not facts, right? Or logic, I guess those are uh, definitely not those things. What do you have to rely on? Rely on the inspectors general that are sprinkled throughout the. Yeah, the sprinkles. You rang, motherfucker. You rang. Somebody say sprinkles. Say sprinkles again, motherfucker. Say sprinkles again. The federal government. We also have to rely on whistleblowers. And uh huh. You mean like the guy who filled out the FD ten twenty three? Yeah. Like that guy, like Smirnoff, that guy, Alexander Smirnoff, yeah, that guy, rel totally reliable. Everything our committee, the House Oversight Committee, uh, should do pertaining to whistleblowers is to protect those whistleblowers and to ensure that the federal government does not retaliate against those whistleblowers. That yeah, but if they're not actually blowing the whistle on anything, and if they just attack someone politically, they're not actually blowing the whistle. They didn't blow the whistle on anything. It's clearly what's taking place uh, with the two good IRS whistleblowers who have been the key witnesses in this investigation with respect to the government cover-up of all the Biden crimes. And, and uh huh. The, what, oh, that, that's right. Because that's why you haven't found any. Because they're so covered up. They're just so well covered up. I turned up the clip. I hope it's louder. I hope it's not too loud. This, of course, all originates from your investigation. Oh, it totally does. And of influence peddling and potential money laundering. Potential? You're just gonna look, you're just gonna three plus fucking five years plus into this shit, you're gonna lay out potential. You're gonna throw around the word fucking potential now? I have in my hand the letter that you sent to Joe Biden. It is dated March 28th, 2024. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is it? And uh, you and your colleagues write this. The committee has accounted for over $24 million that has flowed from foreign sources to you, your family, and their business associates. Mostly to those folks, a couple of which are in jail, and Hunter doesn't work with them anymore, but the committee will take their word for shit. They may have, they may have cheated Native tribes and pensioners out of their money, but they make good witnesses against Hunter Biden who didn't. The committee has identified no legitimate services to merit such lucrative payments. Sh sh sure they have.
You go on to say you have repeatedly denied playing any role in your family's business activities, but the committee has amassed evidence, including bank records and witness testimony, that wholly contradicts your position on these matters. Yeah, except it doesn't. But I'm sure he'll get right back to you. Have you heard back from President Biden after this letter you sent? What do you think? I think the chances are about the same as uh, the rapture happening during the eclipse. That. We have not heard back from President Biden, but the White House is uh, spending uh, every second of their free time trying to attack me and trying to attack Jim Jordan. And do I, I don't know that they, first of all, if they were attacking you and Jim Jordan, they would just do it in their free time. They don't have to try. That You don't have to try to attack. You can try to make your attack successful. That would be the thing. Attacking someone is pretty fucking easy. Calling you a dumbass is not attacking you. It's just recognizing a reality. Do everything they can to discredit the investigation. And <laughs> This is the evidence against them. 20 million in payment from foreign sources that didn't go to him or him. It went to a bunch of people. Hunter Biden's messages and infamous D.C. dinner, uh, which this happened when Joe Biden wasn't president anymore. Whistleblower testimony, which blew no whistle whatsoever. Intimidate uh, our... No, Anthony, get out of here. Uh, investigation moving forward. They're trying to get their friends in the media to say the investigation is wrapping up or the investigation is... is uh, by the way, I, you'll not hear me saying the investigation is wrapping up. Uh, failing miserably, a massive waste of time is, uh, uh, you know, delaying the inevitable. That's what you'll hear from me. Wrapping up, I have no fucking idea. Because no man shall know the hour nor the day, not even the son, only the father shall know. Installed or whatever, that's simply not true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we haven't found anything yet, so why would we stop? We've proven the Bidens were influence peddling. No, you haven't. Who was bene Who benefited from that influence? Fucking nobody. We've proven they've taken in uh, tens of millions of dollars, and that $24 million is very conservative. But Well, no, it, it includes people who aren't family members and are testifying against them because they intended on, they're testifying against Hunter specifically because they intended to make more money and they're mad that they didn't. We've proven they've taken in tens of millions of dollars. We gave both Jim Biden and Hunter Biden an opportunity uh, to explain what they did to... Yeah, they both testified under oath in private. Received the money. They couldn't do it, Maria. So it's influence peddling is what it is. What influence? When you're, the shit you're talking about, even with Bobolinsky, Biden wasn't vice president at that time. The problem Joe Biden has is... <laughs> is you're annoying and he's got real issues to deal with? Three of the problem he's got is, is that there's so many infrastructure projects, he doesn't have time to visit all of them. And... He's so busy lowering drug prices that he can't hear you bitching about this shit because uh, people that have had their student loans forgiving uh, are clapping so loudly that it's just drowning you out. Of the Biden associates have now testified under oath that Joe Biden was the central figure in the influence peddling scheme. No, they, some of them have said he's the brand and a brand is not what you sell in those situations. Uh, I, there's no material value to a brand. Again, even if you're just sitting on a board because people trust the board more with you sitting there, it's still not influence peddling. No one's disputing that the Biden family was influence peddling. No. One yeah, they are. Everyone is. You're, 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 this is ridiculous. What influence? No one's disputing the dollar amount that we've... Uh, I just did. So don't say no one. Just say nobody but that asshole Sparks over there, another fucking Ken Kentuckian who's calling me on my bullshit. You can say that, but you can't say nobody. Because I've done it, and I'll continue to do it, because it's fun. Disclose that the Bidens took in, because we have their bank records. That's pretty hard evidence. What the oh, this is a, She's reusing graphics now. This is lame. Yelena Batarina's money didn't go to Joe Biden or Hunter Biden. It went to fucking Devin Archer. These guys... Find their criminality. Meanwhile, by the way, uh, can we can we take a visit to uh, to Trump's Kazakh buddy? Should we, should we do that one? Chat room. What do you think? Let me let me jump right in here, if I may. Uh, let's see. Uh, Trump Kazakh. Uh, let's just say uh, yacht. 
uh, prostitution. That'll that, that should get us right to the story. Uh, yeah. Um. Um. We want to, we want to jump in there, extend things, whatever. Da da da. Go away. Um. Let's, here you go. Um. How about uh? You want to talk about Kazakhstan? You want to talk about some real motherfuckers? Um. Guys, how about this? Dirty money. Trump and the Kazakh connection. Uh, ever since a series of bankruptcies left banks unwilling to lend him, Donald Trump has been uh, on the lookout for partners willing to fund the buildings that bear his name. Over the years, U.S. presidential candidate, this was, a, again, an old story, has assembled an eclectic collection of backers and collaborators. Some had checkered past with links to organized crime or fraud schemes. Almost all of them, by the way. I think all of them. <laughs> like, we haven't been able to find one good guy in this whole fucking, you know, mix. Um, Mr. Trump's complex, often opaque business empire, uh, was that it might be used for purposes U.S. officials fear is right for... Uh, Financial Times investigation has found evidence that one Trump venture has multiple ties to an alleged international money laundering network. Title deeds, bank records, and correspondence show that the uh, that a Kazakh family accused of laundering hundreds of millions of stolen dollars bought luxury apartments in a Manhattan Tower part owned by Mr. Trump and embarked on major business ventures with one of those tycoon uh, partners. Uh, as Mr. Trump runs for the White House, the revelations raise questions, blah, 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 Jennifer Shack, Calvary... Uh, Shesky Calvary, uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, one former executive developer. Where's this guy? Yeah, there he is. Victor Kropinoff. Um, lawyers for Almighty told U.S. court in March that Mr. Kropinoff and his family conspired to systematically uh, loot hundreds of millions of dollars of public assets and to launder their ill-gotten gains through a complex web of bank accounts and shell companies, particularly in the United States. In what? Well, what resource, what thing can you buy in the United States where you can hide your identity? Is it factories? No, it's not factories. Is it uh, incorporated businesses, both public and private? Nope. No, no, no. Is it LLCs that hold real estate? Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for Johnny? Um, Mr. Krabinoff, who now lives in Switzerland, says he's being targeted for opposing the man he used to serve, President Nazaryev Nazarbayev, uh, Kazakhstan's authoritarian ruler since 1989. That guy got broomed, by the way, by the Russians and was replaced by a guy who was actually accidentally, they fucked up, they fucked around and found out um, and, uh, and that guy is actually more friendly to the United States and the West shortly before the, so yeah, here you go. Uh, bank statement submitted by Almaty's lawyers indicate that the ultimate beneficiary of the solo companies was Elvira Kaz, uh, Kadrujova, Mr. Kropinoff's, uh, California based Kropinoff. I mean, come on. It's like David Pecker, Kropinoff and Pecker. This, these are the names. All right, fine. Um, she and her brother Ilyas. Uh, were basically buying the properties. Shortly before the Soho companies bought the apartments, uh, which are in Trump Tower Soho, uh, 3.1 million flowed out of Ms., uh, out of her Wells Fargo account to the firm of Martin uh, Jajan, a New York lawyer. He proceeded to sign purchase documents for the Trump Soho apartments as a buyer's agent so they could hire, they could hide who they were. Obviously, it didn't work uh, too well. This is early on. This is this dude. Um, there you go. Trump Soho, uh, how three appointments were bought, apartments were bought and sold using only shell companies. And this is just a minor part of it. Um, if I may, let's see. Um, Kazakh, let's see. Um, yeah, here you go. This, this would be this guy. Here you go. And how about this guy? How about, how about uh, this fella? Trump business partner busted for running prostitution ring on historic yacht. Uh, the Sabarona was the largest yacht in the world when it was built for uh, Emily Roebling Cadwallader. Cadwater, whose grandfather, John Roebling, engineered the Brooklyn Bridge in 1931. It cost a whopping $4 million at the time, which would be $57 million today. Her sec the second owner was Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the army officer and writer who went on to revolutionize and create the Republic of Turkey after the fall of the Ottoman Empire. During World War II, the ship lay idle and abandoned in the Bosphorus, uh, operating briefly as a military training ship. Then, in 1979, the majestic ship was gutted by fire. After floating, abandoned for another 10 years, a Turkish businessman chartered her and began slowly, painstakingly restoring her to her former glory with a $25 million renovation that reinstalled the swimming pool, Turkish bath, a 282-foot gold-trimmed staircase, movie theater, and library suite that were originally featured on board. So, how is it? This is a historical gem being used today. Well, as a high-end bordello staffed with beautiful models who also serve as prostitutes working at the beck and call of uh, uh, Tafik. Arif, a wealthy Russian-American businessman. He is a real estate developer who has partnered with Donald Trump. That's right. Trump Tower Soho, ladies and gentlemen. Um, his partner in Trump Tower Soho is running a high-end brothel 
on an old yacht that they, that was reshaped. To be honest, if someone told you about a $60 million yacht with a golden staircase that was almost the length of a football field, you probably would have guessed this was uh, it was inevitable. Eventually, Donald Trump, or at least a gaggle of prostitutes, was bound to show up. Donald Trump, uh, pal Tavik uh, Arif, was busted in Turkey for allegedly running a hooker ring aboard a yacht. That's the other story. Oh, okay, Daily News has cleared it out. That's very sweet of them. Um, yeah. So anyways, do you guys get the point? We've covered this asshole before. Um, uh, Trump Tower Soho and the dude behind it are, you know, clearly engaged in this kind of criminal shit. So, yeah, back to where we were. Chat room. Hit that like, by the way. Give us a thumbs up. Support the show, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's the, not, it's the love for hire boat. It's not quite the love boat. Um, yeah, but here we go. <clears throat> also, uh, again, Chairman Yi Jinping ha- uh, owned at least one Trump Tower apartment in Trump World Tower across from the UN that we know of that he never set foot in. What they're disputing is Joe Biden's role. We've had three Biden associates that said he was the closer of the of the Biden selling the Biden brand. Yeah, but the deals didn't close. They were bitching about the fact, specifically Bob Alinsky, they were complaining that di- the, they didn't fucking close. The deals never went through. So we- How is he the closer on deals that never happened? We need to hear from Joe Biden because we're at the point now to where we're, uh, what I call trying to now- <laughs> Trying. You're now trying to? Now. Now you're fucking trying to. Now you're trying to? I'll provide accountability. We've proved- Uh proven the crimes no you have not now it's time to hold people accountable for have you proven what crime what was the crime prove the crime what crime are you talking about you've proven the crime how you holding it on him you're not gonna have an impeachment vote you got called your fucking bluff on that one right moskowitz uh goldman uh swalwell they all called your fucking bluff if you've proven the crime, why didn't you have an? Why didn't you just go ahead with the impeachment, dum dum? The crimes and Joe Biden needs to answer some questions in front of the oversight. Where are the crimes? We can't figure them out. And why are you being so nice to China if they paid you all this China money to to uh, to be nice to them? And now you're did you trick China? We're gonna impeach you for screwing the CCP. Ouch. I'm so dumb right now, it hurts. That committee, we're giving him the opportunity. You just put, like we gave Hunter Biden the opportunity and he didn't show. You put a lot of questions in this letter. and, and <laughs> Right, that you should have the answers to, I think. And obviously he's not. I mean, you're up to your fucking eyeballs in evidence, right? Answering it. Look, with regard to China, it's very concerning because obviously the CCP is all over America. Through Are they? Really? Because... You know those uh, those police stations they had? Why are they getting busted now that Biden's in office if they existed the entire time Trump was in office? What what about the CHIPS Act couldn't have been done during Trump? Surveillance through pushing fentanyl, trying to disrupt. Pushing fentanyl. Were they pushing it when Trump was in office? Because that's when the, the climb started. This country. And we're wondering. They're pushing it. So Chinese pushers. That's what we're doing now. That's. That's how she's so if you see a Chinese person, that's what Maria Bartiromo is telling you that it's not that they're making the the fentanyl precursors and they're shipping them to Mexico and cartels are making them and selling them in the United States. No, no, that's not what happens. Chinese pushers are standing on street corners, according to fucking Maria Bartiromo. Why Joe Biden racist much? Has been so soft on China. Is is it because he- What the fuck? Who how he has not been soft on China ever. He's been the hardest president on China since before Nixon. He's compromised. We don't know. Right. Because you can't point to an area where he's actually been soft on China. But your investigation is coming up with these things. With regard to this letter and China, you write... And, the, and China. Right, have you met, spoken to, or otherwise interacted with Jonathan Lee of Bohai Industrial Fund? Have you met, spoken to, or otherwise interacted with Yi Jianming of CEFC? Hey, you know who has? Donald Trump. Sold him a couple of apartments. Have you met, spoken to, or otherwise interacted with Henry Zhao? Of- Wouldn't you know that already? Seriously, if you're saying you have the evidence that crimes were committed, you would at the very least know if he didn't met, somehow interacted. And by the way, saying how's the weather on speakerphone at a situation doesn't, f- when you're not vice president, 
doesn't count. Harvest Fund, why do you want to know if he's interacted with all these Chinese people? <laughs> yeah, why? Is it because Chinese people? We know. Also, um, real quick, what, what was that noise? Harvest Fund, why do you want to know if he's interacted with all these Chinese people? What, did somebody fart? Somebody, there's a, at the end, am I the only person hearing that? Now, of Harvest Fund, why do you want to know if he's interacted with all these Chinese people? That was just me, right? I, I'm not the only one hearing that. We know the answer to those questions. We want to hear Joe Biden answer those questions. He's already said publicly numerous times, especially during the presidential election, that he never met with any of these people. Yeah, met with and met aren't the same thing. Jesus Christ. We're not doing fucking whitewater over again. Uh, now that all the evidence has been brought to light, uh, we're going to give him an opportunity to, to see it. To yawn in your fucking face. If he can uh, think back and think real hard. Here, uh, here, do me a favor. Think back and think real fucking hard to a single thing he's done to benefit China since coming into office. Think real fucking hard about the CHIPS Act. Think real fucking hard about technology that, you, you know, in companies that can no longer do business in China. Think real fucking hard about how all of that could have been done during Trump, but he didn't because he wanted to delay our COVID response so he could get his fucking stupid three-part, whatever the fuck that was, trade deal that never amounted to a, say purportedly again. Uh, and be able to answer those questions because when he said to the American people countless times that he never met with any of these people. Yes, right. Met with. Met and met with are two different things. Who were sending his family millions of dollars. They, they weren't sending his family millions of dollars. I think most people believed him. Uh, when he we still do. That chart, is, this is the chart. Looks like, I mean, this looks like evidence. I mean, look at China over there, looking like somebody's fucking pancreas. He said that. Now the ev You're not going to... By the way, Chairman Yi is right there. That's This guy is the main breakout point. Why is there not a little sub-chart over here that shows the properties he bought in Trump buildings? Oh, I'm not mad, Denise. I'm having... Evidence has, has pointed that he's met with just about every single person that sent the Biden's money. I think every single American should be very concerned. And we know from the... <laughs> What? That there's loopholes in the CHIPS Act that make them not actually good? Her report that Joe Biden... By the way, uh, the Republicans that voted for the CHIPS Act, are they complicit in this as well? Are they being bribed with China money? He's a forgetful old man. But you can't play that forgetful old man card every time. Yeah. Uh, especially when you're running for real... He, he never played the forgetful old man card. That was an assertion by her... That that would be a believable way of him going, I don't remember what happened back then. And that was his sales point. Election for four more years uh, to the highest office in our land. Well, they, they, his family has committed yep. a lot of crimes. He's, they haven't committed any. He's been the central figure, according to three of these associates. <laughs> Two of which are in jail and another one who's pissed because he got kicked to the curb for trying to have more control over the company and make more money than he w w had ever earned. Bobolinsky is a dickhead. In these crimes, this is a very serious investigation. Joe Biden's in a... No, it's not really. Again, if it was a very serious investigation, three years in, you'd actually have some, wouldn't you? A lot of trouble. He needs to answer these questions. Is he, a, is he really, though? Is he in a lot of trouble? I mean, being president's hard. I guess that qualifies. Questions if you can't come in public and answer... I beg your pardon. He needs to, at the very least, answer the questions in the letter. Oh, I um, does a my dad? Okay, just so you know, my my dad's an architect, and um, at one point he had a stamp made when he was working at one of the uh, firms that he worked at before he started his own company. He had a stamp made that said "bullshit" on it three times. And so he would. Some people would send him like revisions on something, and as a joke, he would stamp bullshit on it just go bullshit 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 and send it back to them uh, and i know what you're thinking how you, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree bullshit. right it's uh, i come by it naturally i'm just saying um but that's exactly what the fuck 
uh, this is. That's And that's what the Biden response should be. As you know, the White House continues to say that these were loans, and you write about these loans in this letter, and you write, the committee has identified and successfully traced money from foreign transactions, including from China, to your own bank account. No, they haven't. Certain checks... Is it China money? ...have been described as loan repayments. However, the person who provided you free bookkeeping during your time as vice president, which was your son's business partner, did not remember any evidence of a loan. Because the loan happened after he no longer worked there. What are you talking about? They already cleared this up. Eric Schwerin was not working as their financial advisor and the, and doing their books when the loan took place, when when James took money out of the Biden family trust and paid back the money, ha- that happened, a- the entire thing happened after. It happened after Joe was no longer fucking pre- vice president. From your accounts. So are you telling us that tens of millions of dollars has gone to Joe Biden? He said, no, no, he is not. And it's a loan and you don't have any document. Tens of millions of dollars has gone to Joe Biden. That it was, in fact, mm. a loan. And was it a loan from China? What's it a loan from China? What are they loaning it for? Is, is, they, is, what did they what did they put fucking... What is this, YouTube downloader jumping in here? Why are you popping up, you weirdo? Hold on. What, it's a loan from China? Um, yes, they they loaned... That's, that's how blackmail works these days. It's mostly loans. Well, what we have uh, d- directly to Joe Biden's a quarter of a million dollars. Uh-huh. How much did uh, James borrow from the family trust? I'll wait. $228,000 or whatever. And his, he tries to say that it's a, a loan repayment. But if you pay me back $250,000, Maria, then I should have a check to you before. No, not if they took it out of the trust that they had access to. And he has to put the money back in. Or you paid me back for $250,000. They don't have any evidence of a check, but at the end of the day... that's That would be a check, by the way. At the end of the day, it's March 1st, 2018. I don't give a motherfucking shit about this. It's garbage. I don't care. It's his brother. It's money he got from AmeriCorps. It didn't even come from fucking China money. The money that Joe Biden stuck in his pocket, the quarter of a million dollars... That- came from AmeriCorps that loaned the money to James Biden that's an American company. That's what we found thus far. The quarter of a million dollars to Joe Biden came directly from the Biden influence peddling schemes. (laughs) Right. That's right. Okay. Which, by the way, how did that benefit AmeriCorps? How's AmeriCorps doing right now? What did Joe Biden do while he was not vice president anymore and not president yet to benefit AmeriCorps? What was it? Why are they suing James Biden for not getting any help If they were paying for help and Joe gave it to them to the tune of a quarter of a million dollars or some shit. 200,000 of it, the check that's on the screen now, that came from the AmeriCorps Health. Which is not, last I checked, China money. Scheme. Scheme. And then 40,000, the check that's on the screen now, that came from China. (laughs) Jesus Christ. No, it didn't. Also, um, 200, so, so Joe Biden spends his entire life in public service, finally makes money after he's out of office selling a book deal, and he's he can't wait in less than a year, like whatever, nine months after he, he's out of office and probably not going to run again, uh, he sells out America for 40K. He's that cheap a fucking date at this point. That's what you think. He's going to fuck America and hand over technology for 40 fucking K after he's a millionaire for the first time in his life and he's get, he's sliding into the legacy er- years of his life. He's going to sell out America for 40 fucking K. That's the argument. That was 10% of a fee in a deal that Tony Bob... 10% of a fee that, that who? Belinsky testified under oath uh, mm-hmm. was a deal that Joe Biden was the big guy that he was going to get 10%... That's not 10% of that deal. And if he's getting 10% of Hunter's fee, then that's, that's what Hunter got. Hunter got 400000 he got 10%. That would be 40, that's where they think the 40000 is from for the legal work that, that Hunter did. He gets 400000 they get 40000 and he's the big guy? 
Wouldn't he get 360000 and Hunter gets to keep forty? What the fuck is wrong with you? How are you the big guy if you get the smallest slice? Uh, that was a $400,000 fee. Uh-huh. For the creation of the company that they're putting together to buy this other thing. Uh, right. that, that Hunter Biden took from a, from a $5 million uh, So he got $400,000 from a $5 million deal. Uh huh. Transaction that he's told the bank was a loan that he's told others was an investment. We don't know exactly what the. No, just because you're confused doesn't mean he's lying. Just because you can't keep your story straight doesn't mean he's making shit up. Five million dollars was, but we know Hunter Biden got five million dollars. He pulled. No, he didn't. The whole company got five million dollars, including Tony Bobolinsky and the rest of these fuckwads. Pulled four four hundred thousand. Yeah. And because he was acting as the lawyer and he got fees and that was his slice of it from everybody else because the deal fell called apart. it a fee into his Owasco account right which is what it was uh, days later Joe Biden got 10 percent of that 40,000 that was laundered through it yeah that's not what even the offer was was he supposed to get 10 percent of the whole fucking thing right just supposed to get t shouldn't they split it down the middle shouldn't he gotten 10 and Hunter gotten 10 if it was 10% for the big guy, it wasn't 10% of, of your 20%. What? A series of trans... 10% of your fees. Action. So we've identified Joe Biden receiving payments. They don't have a good... No, they haven't. ...explanation for why... I've explained it a dozen times. This is late. Why he received okay. the payment. They say it was a loan repayment, but they can't produce evidence of a loan. You also can't produce evidence that it's China money. None of this makes sense. Mm. We're Right. It, okay. It, and it isn't because it doesn't make sense. It does make sense if you just look at the material reality of it. It doesn't make sense if you have, you are oxygen starved and stupid like this gentleman. Giving Joe Biden an opportunity to answer these simple questions. Yeah. These aren't. I'll answer for him. How about that? How about how about that? That's that's your answer. You you're welcome. Can can we stop wasting fucking time? There's your answer. Congratulations. Okay. Put that in your book complex questions that we're asking. These are simple questions so, and he should be able to answer So them. your letter writes, the committee is open to accommodating your schedule, but pro uh -huh. proposes April 16th for a hearing to occur. Right, because you want it to parallel the fact that Trump is in his hush money trial and you're trying to draw attention away because that's what this is about. The, it, it, you notice that what's missing from this entire segment, I think, is them not talking about the fact that Trump has a hush money to a porn star trial that's happening. Let's say they completely blow you off and he's not coming to any hearing. What's next? What are you going to do? I'm a frustrated architect. My fake classroom firm in college was a, just architects AI or something like that. Oh, very nice, H. Brian. My my dad's a, an architect and uh, I've been around it my whole life. About it. We're doing everything we can. <laughs> uh-huh. But we are stupid to get him to come to hearing. Every time we, we get into the corner with the Bidens, you know, we they said yeah. Hunter Biden wouldn't come for the deposition. We got him. They said the same thing about Jim Biden okay. wouldn't come to the deposition. We got him. He also, no, they didn't. The evidence uh, points to the decision that. P points to. Points? Does it, it points, does it? I'll show you a fucking point. See this waffle cone, motherfucker? That's what I. I know points, all right? That Joe Biden should make as being one that he needs to answer our questions at the... Nah, he really doesn't need to. At the very least. Okay. We're giving him a platform. We're going to allow... He has a platform. He's the president of the United States. And today he used it specifically to uh, lower drug costs for regular Americans. Him ...to answer the questions. And uh, Maria... If you don't have the answers, don't ask the questions. I'm hopeful that he will because... Hopeful. Mm -hmm. Hopeful. Are you? Are you hopeful, you dumb motherfucker? Huh? 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 Hopeful. As you know, he's in a lot of trouble right now. No, he's really not. Well, look, Hunter Biden's attorney, Abby Lowell, is blasting a federal judge for not dismissing these tax charges against Hunter, his son. He's also going after special counsel David Weiss, saying that the investigation was handled in an... You mean he's doing his job as a lawyer? Dear God.
an abnormal way. The judge rejected Lowell's argument that Weiss was influenced to bring the charges from Republicans and the nine charges should be dismissed. Hunter is accused of failing to pay more than a million dollars in taxes, Mr. Chairman. I find that stunning, given the fact that Joe Biden is always telling everybody to pay their fair share, and his son apparently reportedly did not. Right, while he was on drugs. He pays them now, and that's why they hooked him up with Weiss, to, or the, his uh, Schwerin, Eric Schwerin, to clean that up. Joe does, like to say for the record, notice they're not bringing up that, that Joe doesn't pay his fucking taxes. One of the reasons why we all know what they're talking about is bullshit is because we know exactly what Biden's net worth is. Trump, nobody has any fucking idea except that he's broke as long as, it, the more the richer he says he is, the broker he actually is. The, the arrogance and entitlement for uh, Mr. <laughs> you and Jim Jordan. Mr. Lowell, who's under. Wait, you sit next to a dude who ignored sexual assault against the 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 wrestling team he was supposed to be guardian over. Please go on. There's attorney to try to dismiss the case for for failure to pay taxes is preposterous. Maria Hunter didn't pay taxes. He still hasn't paid taxes. Yes, he has. What taxes uh, that that the government determined he owed, Kevin Morris paid them for him. Right, that doesn't matter. He, he, he got a loan from a buddy because he doesn't have that kind of money and he paid it off and he'll pay him back. And? Uh, it will and by the way, which is not in secret at all. What we believe is a highly unethical loan that we've... Who gives a shit? It's not highly unethical. You know why? Because we know exactly who gave him the money and exactly when and where it went. And also, he's a Democratic donor. He's an American. We have no question about where this money came from and where it's going. And he already agreed to fucking do it. It's not like he's buying influence in something. Determined uh, is somewhere in the neighborhood of $7 million that Hunter Biden owes this uh, big Democrat donor, Hollywood lawyer type thing, Kevin, Kevin Morris, but who apparently has a lot of money. And you know what's weird is, is that Trump doesn't do this for anybody. And he's way richer than this guy, right? Doesn't Trump have that kind of money? Like in spades? So why isn't he helping like Rudy and all these other people who've got, I mean, right? Right? What the Irish whistleblowers testified was all of these transactions, the $24 million that you uh, mentioned at the, at the onset of the show, that the Bidens didn't pay any taxes on that money either. Well, sure they did. Also, and by the way, you're right about some of it. Uh, the, the vast majority of it, the Bidens did not pay tax on it because it wasn't their fucking money. It went to Rob Walker. It went to... Bobolinsky, it went to fucking Galvani or whoever the fuck. What the Bi what Hunter Biden was charged with not paying taxes was his W two primarily from his Burisma income. Right. All this other money that the Bidens took in, no one paid taxes on any of it either. Which is yes, yes they did. First of all, uh, never mind the two forty loan repayment or whatever. James Biden paid taxes on all this stuff. Also, I guess you don't pay, he borrowed it from AmeriCorp, right? So you don't pay taxes on loans you get. That's part of it. But then, mo again, the vast majority of all this fucking money came, you know, went to the other guys. Then you throw in the loans that we found, especially with the president's brother. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, you mean uh, Trump being the king of debt? That we would argue aren't loans. I mean, if someone loans you a million dollars 10 years ago and you've never made a payment on it and you're never going to make a payment on it, they didn't. They, it was recent. At some point, that million dollars is taxable because it's an income. It's not a loan if you don't pay it back. But they paid it back. After he was vice president, before he was president, and during a time when he was neither. So the, 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 this is the, the, just the, the tip of the, 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 the iceberg. Don't give me fucking just the tip. Just the fuck. Say just the tip one more time. Just the tip. I'll show you just the tip. Just the tip of the iceberg. Tip, motherfucker. You were promising us a sunken Titanic. What the Bidens owe the IRS. 
And and the fact that they're wanting to throw this out because his last name's Biden just shows to the yeah, that's not why the American people the arrogance and entitlement. It's that you're attacking him because his last name's Biden. Entitlement of this family and their legal team. The Bidens owe probably millions yeah. more in taxes than what they're in court now uh, for for delinquent taxes. Based on what? And your letter goes through different countries. You talk about money that he may have received from China. May ha may have. Did this moron just say may have? He she didn't she didn't say didn't did she say she said fucking may have again? Did she may have? It, and you and and that's in the letter. That's in the fucking letter. M may have may. Ukraine, Russia, may and and beyond in this letter again. If and beyond may have. And beyond. Fuck is wrong with you? If you don't get a response from the White House on this. They'll get one. You know, laughter is technically a response. Yes. What's your next step? Are you. Um, uh, yeah, what is what is your next step? Um, hmm. you said to me recently that you are. Oh, Charlie, I'm glad. Preparing criminal okay. referrals. Is that as far as you can go? What else can you do? To mm, not much. Yeah, yeah. To get some accountability after all of this information that you say you dug up. This. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Get some accountability after all of this information that you say you dug up. After all of this information that you say you dug up. I wish you had more time. Uh, thank you, JD. I think the, the two best options uh, moving forward are, are obviously criminal referrals. Yeah, there are two. Uh, fuck and off. Referrals and, and then impeachment. Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, get that's usually the order it goes uh, in. Impeachment still on the table. Eh. Yeah, unsigned and it will not get passed. Why, why is it still on the table, motherfucker? If you're up to your eyeballs in evidence, get, shit or get off the pot, dumb dumb. Uh, there's still a you fucking oaky an overwhelming majority of Republicans in the House of Representatives that that agree with me. Mm, really? By the way, who who spotted the man? Josh, well spotted. It's one of my favorite lines from that movie. It's a great movie. But Joe Biden has committed impeachable offenses. Uh huh. Now our good luck confidence level in the Senate is very low. Uh huh. Because uh, why, why would that be? Because um, because uh, you don't have the votes and a bunch of those folks want real careers that last more than two years. So that's why they're in the Senate. But at the end of the day, the criminal referrals are something that I believe uh, if we don't have a Department of Justice today, hopefully in uh, uh, a year, we will have a Department of Justice. We still have a we do have a Department of Justice. That's that's one of the reasons why this shit won't go anywhere, because it's actually a Department of Justice. They can hold him accountable. Uh huh. You know, like like remember when Trump said he was going to what was it? Uh, he was going to lock something. He was going to to her. Who was she? He was going to lock her or something. I remember he talked about it a bunch. I mean, it, it, you know, like that happened. Remember when he was promising that and he was selling that and they were chanting that and he was leading chants and, and saying, lock uh, her, lock her up. That's what it was. I remember now. Lock her up. He would say that at things and then he totally did. Remember, remember when he totally followed through on that reality that he sold? It's like when Mexico paid for the wall, like right after he locked her up, uh, then Mexico paid for the wall. Like, I barely remember anything after that because it was just so much stuff. But uh, Celeste, it was a uh, man on fire. The the Denzel Washington version, by the way. Scott Glenn was in the original. Denzel Washington is in uh, the other version of it with Christopher Walken, you know, and as a, you know, side player in it. We're going to have the tools in place. To gonna. To hold this family accountable for the... Mm -hmm. The criminal wrongdoing that they have committed one way or the other. Just. Nope. Stunning. Truly stunning. Mr. Truly stunning. Yes, it is. Listening to James Comer talk is like being hit in the forehead with a fucking shovel. 
It is, uh, it's beyond stunning. It's stupefying. We're all dumber for it. You have wasted everyone's time and you have bored the living shit out of even Maria Bartiromo, who is trying her very level best to spit polish this turd you keep sending to her as it gets warmer and warmer in the afternoon sun. Chairman, we'll be watching your work. Thank you, sir. Uh-huh. Keep watching. You won't watch him succeed. That was it. That's the end of it. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us uh, to a close. I went a little low, a long tonight, but I, I think it was important after we got kicked off by the deep state, the derp state, if I do say so my damn self. Um, thank you guys for your attention and uh, your uh, the, 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 the gift that you give me just by being here. And just don't fucking let them... I'm going to say it. Don't worry. Just hit the like and subscribe. Say like and subscribe again, motherfucker. Say like and subscribe. I have to. So I don't say it. It doesn't happen. I trust them and I know they care about the show, but they, you know, if I don't remind them, it doesn't happen. All right. I'll allow it. But watch yourself. I will. Jesus. I mean, I'm never going to get to the size, you know, of some of these other streamers if I don't get people to subscribe to the show. Jamie, put up that video I watched about, uh, like, uh, before we had Mr. Beast on about how you get subscribers without actually being any good at anything. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, that's how the show started. Remember how, remember how, like, when we started this podcast, I was like, how, how do we do this if we're not actually providing a service or making the world better or actually saying anything worth hearing? And I found that video, and then, you know, it's just we $200 million later. Jamie, put that up on the screen, would you? That'd be great. Yeah. Did, Jamie? Jamie! Um, so, all size businesses. It's very important. Um, um, I'd like to say for the record, hold on one second. Um, hey, man, before, I, before you go there, man, hit that like, subscribe, give us that... Do them $5 challenge super chats or try to send us up, help us out. There you go. Gifting them jalapenos. That's what you do there. Look at somebody gifting memberships. Love you for that. Peter, way to go, man. That's some good stuff. See, I knew y'all cared. Fucking Jesse Ventura has been talking shit about you guys inside Hal's head. And I I disagree with it. Hang the fuck on there a second there, Ficus. God damn it. If you don't like the truth, you can suck it. Listen here, man. Don't start shit with me, man. You may not have had time to bleed when you were rich and, and famous and were governor of Minnesota or whatever the fuck. You sure as shit got time to bleed now, man. I will lose my boot in your ass. You're, you're not even wearing boots right now, pal. You don't have boots on. Check your ass. Ow. He's right. Oh, shit. All right, guys, take it easy, okay? I'll, 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 I, I don't want to scare off the crowd with, with violence or anything that's upsetting. Listen, if you guys don't subscribe, I will be outside your window in the bushes, okay? Get it right, because I've, I've, I'm sick of this shit. He actually, you don't even understand. He actually squenches his fucking face up behind this, and he doesn't even have to. And he still does it for you. And do you deserve it? No. So stop it. All right. Good. Harriet Simmer. Okay. I gotta, I gotta go back to Wyoming. Um. <laughs> anyways, love you guys. Um, take care of yourself. And remember, beware of the kidney. I didn't warn you.
All right, those credits are coming in a second. I don't know why they won't play like they're supposed to. It's an aggravating. They're coming. Promise. There we go. Oh, Peter, thank you so much. It's amazing. You guys. It's so lovely. Those emojis are brought to you by the Twitch viewers. Thanks, Twitch people. There you go. There you go. Renoir! Bacon, we love you too. Thanks, guys. Don't forget, Friday AI, Rob Glenn's going to be joining us again. Um, I'll check in on Phil. Mote. Right, hold on. We'll get that in there. There you go. Michigan gave us Motown. Gave us Motown. Gave us the Mustang. He sure did. Captain's log. <laughs> I'm just a happy camper. Sportos, motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, wasteoids, dweebies, dickheads. They all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. Mm-hmm. 